Melbourne's no ordinary suburban garage. It's Joy's World, a self-funded show on community TV that's been running for more than 20 years. This is my studio. I never call it a garage. At the moment I'm thinking, hmm, how am I going to feed my crew next week? Oh, and then I say, of course, it'll be pension day on Thursday. Yes! <laughs> Staffed by volunteers, the programs proved to be an important training ground for people wanting to break into the industry. The problem is digital television is coming. And while viewers are being urged to get ready, community broadcasters are in limbo, marooned on the analogue signal while the federal government works out how they'll make the switch. The threat for us is if we're not on digital and people start to move to digital, then they will lose us. And if the government doesn't do something now, um, then community television um, has a bleak future. The government says it's committed to community television, but it hasn't yet announced funding for capital city stations to continue broadcasting when the analogue signal is switched off in 2013. The economics of community TV is always tough, but we don't want them to close because of a lack of willingness to transition them into the digital world. We are not going to leave them behind. And while technology is changing, retirement is the last thing on Joy Hruby's mind. When I get my crew together and, and uh, they do all these wonderful, vital things that I feel are so important, I just feel young again and it's lovely. For this industry veteran, it seems everything old is new again. Nicole Chettle, ABC News.